Well, as we mentioned, students are headed back to class very soon, including Washington local schools in just two weeks. And this afternoon, Christy Martin, Washington Local's new superintendent, is with us to chat about the upcoming school year. Welcome. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. So I say new superintendent, but you're not new to the district by any stretch, right? Correct. I've been in the district for 23 years. I've been wow. a principal at a lot of levels, an assistant superintendent, but uh, five days officially on the job as superintendent. <laughs> so, yes. So congratulations in the in the new role. But, you know, obviously you you chose to stay with this district for a long period of time and what is it about Washington local um, I, You know what I really can't imagine being anywhere else. Mm -hmm. My kids went to Washington local, my husband went to Washington local, I've just mm -hmm. been immersed in the community and I, I really love being in Washington local. Okay so some exciting things happening uh, coming up this school year and one of them is going to be that you're breaking ground on a new middle school which yes. is a big deal right? We're very excited about that. We have about 1500 students at Whitmer Middle School mm -hmm. um, scheduled to open in 2026 so two, okay. two schools school years from now. Okay. Um, our groundbreaking is August 29th at 10 o'clock, so we're very excited to get the project started. Yeah, and what is that going to mean for the community? It means that every student that goes through our district will go through the new middle school. Um, it'll be 6th, 7th, and 8th graders. It's mm -hmm. just really a state-of-the-art facility. The teaching and learning opportunities will be amazing there. The safety and security and just mm -hmm. the technology. Um, we're just very excited for our kids to have that you know, opportunity to go through the, a state-of-the-art building mm -hmm. like that. And I know that's important for parents, too, when we talk about safety and things like that You know, over the years. That's become a top priority yes. for, for parents and, and students alike. Yes, and there's things we can do in our current buildings to make them safer, mm -hmm. but there's nothing like what you can do in a brand new building. So Looking forward to yes, that, right? We are. Uh, you know what, I think the other thing when we talk about parents and fears for a new school year, is there a little one starting school for the very first time? And this year, I'm able to say mine's, mine's getting into her first grade year now. We got through kindergarten. But for those parents who've got kiddos who are getting ready to start their careers with kindergarten, uh, what can they expect? So we actually brought, we have 21 kindergarten teachers in the district, and we mm -hmm. brought them together this, um, probably starting in January, and really planned on how, what can we do at the beginning of the school year for kindergarten. Mm -hmm. And we planned a lot of fun, um, learning while it's fun, um, groups getting to know each other, cooperative learning, and we're really excited. So every student in the district in kindergarten will have a transportation theme to start the school year. So they'll learn all about that. And then the culminating activity is going to be a um, vehicle day in September where we'll bring all the kindergartners to see like vehicles around. It'll just be really amazing. So really making it fun and enjoyable and getting to learn about each other mm -hmm. um, and really getting to know routines. So we're excited about just a common um, practice for all our kindergarten students. That's a big thing. You got to sit in the chair all day long. You know, you have to you have to be at this place at this time and do this at yeah. this time. And, you know, that's that's the start of getting used to that. Yeah, for a lot of them, it's their first experience in school so mm -hmm. that you have to teach them everything. You can't take for granted that they know how to open their milk or to get their <laughs> lunchbox out. So we'll be doing a lot of that. Very good. So uh, really always sweet to see them too because they're, they're so stinking cute. They are. Uh, something else un kind of unusual that you all are doing. When I read this, I said Whitmer wedding. What is that? So Washington Local, we're very proud of our traditions. And one of the things that we talked about is, you know, keeping the traditions as I move into this job, but creating new ones. And um, our communications director came to me with an idea that she stole. And some of the best things we do in education, we steal. <laughs> it's so, okay. Uh, it's, yes. it's, it's flattery, right? Yes. <laughs> and uh, college was doing this. So we're going to have a Whitmer wedding. Um, what, is, what is that, you're probably mm -hmm. asking. So any um, couples that graduated, both um, graduated from Whitmer High School, are invited to participate in a Whitmer wedding. I think it's $25. You get a t-shirt. We have a pre-game um, under the tent, you get a little wedding cake and a photo taken of you and oh. your spouse. And then um, you're going to walk out to the yard line of your anniversary, which will be fun. Oh, cool. And then I get to officiate that. So as a superintendent, I will get to kind of do a little vow renew for them. Um, we thought, gosh, if we get 20 couples to do this, that would be great. And mm -hmm. we're up to 60 couples <laughs> already. So it's definitely tradition that I think has taken some wings and we'll probably see us doing that in the future. So. And someone else copying it, maybe. We, we hope. Again, it's the best form of flattery. <laughs> That's so fun. And when is that happening again? That is, I think, October 11th, which is our homecoming game. Okay. So. Okay. So make plans for that. You're like, yeah, i got to show up yeah, and bring my spouse and get on that football field again. It may have been quite some time, yes. you know. Uh, so lots of fun. So it does seem like you have some great, exciting things to look forward to. You know, what do you want parents to know of all grade levels, though, as, as they start this new school year and they have a new leader? I just think that you're in good hands. We have great staff. I mean, I, I can't be more proud of the staff 
that we have. And I hope to be out there. So if they see me around, I want to be visible, introduce yourself, say hello. Mm -hmm. And we're just looking forward to keeping the momentum going and having a great school year. Very good. And I imagine you've got all, all of the communication is happening, you know, through email, websites, all that good stuff. Yeah. Parents just need to, to tune in. Yes. Yeah. Principal started back on the first. So everybody's mm -hmm. back, secretary. So things are hopping. The buildings are looking great. Our custodial staff worked all summer. So yes, yeah, so if they have a question, just reach out. Very good. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Okay. And good luck on your first year. Thank you. Sounds like you got a lot of fun stuff happening.